hi guys welcome back to the channel today i am lilian so if you're just joining us please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful shirt and sleeve thank you so much for your support so i had somewhere i actually wanted to go to and i decided to make this two piece for it so i decided to also film it for the channel so welcome guys let's get into it the material we'll be needing today we'll be needing a shirt fabric okay we'll be needing a shirt material white and then we'll also be needing a car okay so we'll be needing a shirt button okay so i'm making use of this so we'll be needing a shirt button so we'll be needing gum stay and then we'll also be needing this press button okay so these are the material that we'll be needing for this particular tutorial and then for pattern I already have my pattern here. I already have a pattern adjusted that so I'm going to explain all the details I have here then we'll style it together. This is just like my normal basic body pattern okay the only difference is that I added three inches which is what you are seeing here for the bottom stand so that when we fold it we'll be left with one and a half inch okay so I added three inch as my bottom stand which is this okay um, this is my chest line this is my boss point this is my side that this is my waistline and then this is the hip line okay so for the full length i added extra three inches okay as the full length and then i added one inch as my allowance okay so these are my allowance so for the neck width i came down by three and a half inch and then the neck depth is three inches okay so this is the back pattern so for the back pattern i came down by one and a half inch for the neckline and then the back i went in by half inch as usual i have a curve to avoid having bulge at the back even as much as we are not adding zip this particular shirt has slit at the center okay so i added one inch allowance and then this is my one inch allowance so i did the same thing I did on the front so waist to hip and then i added extra three inches to it so i already also have my sleeve pattern okay it's just a normal basic sleeve it's just my basic body pattern like i said before the only difference is this three inches at the front okay which is for body stand so let's get into it so guys what we are going to do now we are going to go ahead and then style okay so you saw my video from the beginning so i have something in front which i use my acara to style so that is what we are going to do now and then we are also going to style the shirt okay so, so what you are going to do from your hip line you are going to come down by half inches okay so come down by half inch you want to actually give this shirt a curvy shape here okay so come down by half inch then come down to the full length okay so come down to the full length and then go ahead and mark six inches okay, okay so when you're done doing that so take your curve ruler and then we are going to create a curve okay so don't make it too curvy so take your curve ruler and then create a curve like this okay so i'm going to take it down to to my allowance okay so this is it okay so what we did we created a curve this is for the front okay so i'm going to bring my back pattern now okay so this is the back pattern okay, what you're going to do for the back pattern you're going to come here okay so what i have here is two and a half inch so i'm going to come to my front pattern now okay and then i'm going to mark two and a half inch okay and then from that point i'm going to come over here okay so from my full length i'm going to go down by half inch or so okay and then from this point from that half inch okay i'm going to go in by seven inch okay so take your what you're going to do you're going to take your curve ruler okay so take your curve ruler we are trying to actually create the curve here i'm going to take your curve ruler and then create the curve like this okay from that half inch create a curve okay and then come over here you're going to curve to this part also okay so this is it okay guys so i think i'm going to since 
as you can see this place i don't i'm not satisfied with what i'm saying here so i'm just going to make it a bit curvy so it's just me i'm not satisfied with that so i'm just going to go ahead and then kind of curve it a little also like this okay so guys so this is it so i'm going to extend it this is my allowance so i'm going to extend it like this this is it okay so this is it so what we are going to do this curve we already created like this we are going to add our allowance to it so you are to decide what you want to use as your allowance okay so if you want to use one inch go ahead and mark one inch if you want to use half inch is on you okay that's your choice so for me i want to use one inch so i'm going to go ahead and then mark one inch so this is it for this okay guys so this is it so i'm going to go ahead and then cut out okay so this is it for the back pattern so we already curved the front pattern before we started working on the back pattern so what we are going to do now we are going to go ahead and then add your allowance okay so from this point i'm going to add one inch okay guys so this is it okay so this is it so what you are going to do we are going to go ahead and then cut out okay so this is it so the next thing we are going to be doing as you can see the style that you saw at the beginning of this video i have something in front okay so that is what we are going to start now okay so this is my boss point okay so from your boss point what you are going to do you are going to go out by half inch okay extend your boss point to the allowance okay so what you are going to do now you are going to extend this point by one inch okay so go ahead mark one inch like that. okay so i'm just going to stop there okay guys so when you're done doing that so what you are going to do now come down by two inches from your boss point like this okay so remember we already went up by half inch here on our boss point and then downwards go down by two inches so what you are going to do you are going to take your ruler okay so what i'm going to do from this point now i'm going to take it down to that two inches like this so when you're done doing this you're going to come over here from your hip line you are going to go out by three and a half inch okay and then mark so come over here on your hip line also go out by three and a half inch and then go ahead and connect the straight line okay connect it so this is it this is for that style you are seeing in front we are going to determine where we are going to slit to add allowance for the pleating we are going to do okay if you can see what the design the style you are seeing in front is actually pleating that what i did there so what i'm going to do now on this line i'm going to whatever measurement you are using start from your not actual measurement okay you have no business with your allowance because we are going to sew that off so from our actual measurement i'm going to go in by three inches okay so this is it so i will come down to my waistline and then i'm going to go in by two inch okay and then i will come down here i'm going to go in by three inches okay so what i'm going to do now so so go ahead and create a line however the line is just create it like that if it's not straight just go ahead create your line however it is okay so this is it so the next thing we are going to do we are going to also mark another three inches from this line mark another three inches and then come down here mark another three inches okay so mark another three inches and then come down here mark another two inches three three two okay so however the line is if it's not straight connect it the way it is okay i'm majorly using it as guideline for pleating so not like it's actually doing anything serious okay so when you're done you're going to come over here okay so when you come over here mark two inch okay the rest we are marking 33 inch so now mark two inches and then you're going to come over here 
and then mark another two inches okay then come over here come over here then mark another two inches okay so when you're done doing that net the length okay so this is it so what you are going to do label it as akara we're going to come over here we just want to give this particular akara a little curve okay so come down by half inch here okay so come down by half inch here and then take your curve ruler okay so just kind of create a little curve okay when you're done doing that what you're going to do you're going to come over here add half half inch as your allowance okay so come over here also add half inch allowance to go ahead and then cut that on our fabric okay so i already placed this on food okay you know it's shed so i'm placing it on food because i want to cut two pieces at a go so guys this is it okay so what i want us to do remember we are going to fold this place into two so before removing this paper just go ahead mark one and a half inch okay and then take your scissors and then notch just notch a little don't notch it too much come over here do the same thing mark one and a half inch I'm going to remove my pattern now. This is it for my side that so I'm done with my front part now. So guys, the back pattern, the normal shirt to make before. Remember the back pattern usually cut it on food. But as you can see, you saw you you already seen my style from the beginning of this video. So it has slit at the back. So what we are going to do, we are going to cut this into two okay I actually folded because i want to cut two pieces at the time okay so we are not cutting the back on fold that's the reason i added the balance okay yeah, and then cut that to your back pattern this is it for the back pattern okay so i'm going to take this off so bring back your front pattern pattern so i'm going to cut this off i'm not sewing my side that okay so i'm not sewing the side that so i'm just going to cut this off and then i'm going to go ahead and then cut that like this we are going to add half inch here so that will not be shortened half inch okay so if you don't add it we'll end up shortening half inch actually because we are going to sew this half inch also go ahead and add half inch okay so just add half inch it's going to have lining and we are going to sew at that point so if you don't have if you don't add this allowance you end up shortening half inch then i'm going to go ahead and cut out now so this is it okay so we won't be needing this this is what we are going to be working with now so what you are going to do label this as one then label this as two then label this as three okay and label this as four so after labeling again and then cut it out like this okay guys so this is it so what you're going to do you're going to bring your fabric so then you're going to bring your paper so guys i'm going to go ahead and pin this down so we are marking for four inch So we are marking for four inch. Okay, so we are going to place it on that four inch. Whatever you are doing, make sure it's actually aligning with this. Okay. So this is my four inch. I'm going to pin it down there. So mark another four inch. Come over here, mark another four inch.
Okay, so you're going to place your number two there. Okay, so when you're done doing that, mark another four inch. So when you're done doing that, mark another four inch like this. Okay, guys, so I don't have enough space here, so I'm going to alter this and start all over again. As you can see, this is where my fabric stops, so I don't have enough space for this particular one. So I'm going to alter this and then start all over again. Okay, so it's just the same thing that I did before is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to say anything until I get to that last part. So, so you know, it's just what we did before I'm doing. Okay, guys, so this is it. Okay, so this is the last part. So I restarted it. Hence, this double mark you are seeing here is just normal for four inch. Okay, so try as much as possible to make sure they are in line with the way we cut it out. Okay, so guys, so this is it. Okay, okay, so this is it. So, what you are going to do, you are going to go ahead and cut out. I actually folded into two. Okay, it's on fold because I want to cut two at a go. We are cutting four in total because. We are also cutting out for lining. So what you are going to do to bring this down, okay? So so I'm going to go ahead and then cut out also. Guys, okay, so this is it. We are going to mark out the waistline because this is where we are actually going to pleat. Okay, so it's the waistline we are pleating to come over here just notch this part so you know this is your waist so just notch them so we are going to go ahead and then add gum stick to this i'm going to go ahead and then attach my gum stick to the main fabric guys this is it okay so i already added gum stick to both so this is it so what we are going to do now okay so don't forget this is how it's going to be okay so this is how it's going to be so what we are going to do now we are going to take the other side remember it was four piece we cut out so what we are going to do place your line in right side facing the right side like this i'm going to do the same thing here So by half inch let me show you how you're going to do it just leave out a space for turning okay so leave out a space where you're going to bring this out okay so go ahead to do the same thing with this so i'm going to go ahead now i'm going to sew like this by this half inch like this then i'll leave out space here for turning okay space that we use to turn everything so do the same thing in the second place i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so this is it after joining so after joining i went ahead to turn this is the space i use in turning okay so this is the second piece okay so i went ahead to turn this is the space i use in turning so after turning i went ahead to iron out okay so iron it out very well so that to give you a good finishing look okay so i'm going to get my pattern now then I'm going to place it here. Remember, we already sewed off half inch, so you don't expect it to be equal with the fabric anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pin this down. Okay, and then I'm going to mark four inch. Remember, we added four four inch for pleating. So you're going to mark that four inch. Then you're going to place your number three there. Okay, so go ahead, pin it down also. Okay, so mark another four inch. Mark another four inch. Then place your number two there. Okay. okay so do where to arrange it properly. Okay, so you're going to come over here, keep this here, and then Make sure it's well arranged, then pin down. Okay, so you're going to mark another four inch.
then keep your number one there What we are going to do now, we are going to go ahead and then pleat. We are going to take the number three and then bring it to number four. It's just a normal way, so, way of pleating. So bring this number three, take this number three, bring it back to number four like this. And then go ahead and pin down. Don't pin it. Don't please don't pin it on the paper because we'll use it for the second one. So bring your number two, pleat it to number three. Okay, so please it's number three. I'm just going to take this off and then use chalk to mark my number two. I don't have pin close to me now. Okay, guys, so hope you understand this. I don't have pin close to me now. So this is it. So this is the last one. So I want to make this case splitting. Okay, so I'm just going to take this to this side. Okay, so the last one I did it piece splitting, so I brought it back to this point like this. Okay, so I'm going to take this off from here. Okay, so I'm going to use it to pin this place down. Okay, so I'm going to separate it from the paper now. Okay, guys, so this is it. So what you're going to do now, you're going to go ahead and iron out. Okay, so after ironing out, you're going to go ahead and then stitch at this point like this, stitch like this, and then stitch like this, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll bring it back. Okay, so just stitch at this point. Use, you remember, I asked us to notch this part, so you are going to use it as guideline when you're stitching. So just stitch like this, stitch like this, stitch like this, okay? Just more stitching about 0 0.6 here to here 0 0.6 here to here 0 0.6 length here to here 0 0.6 so i'm going to go ahead and do that then i'm going to back so, so this is the second part i went ahead and do the same thing with the second part so this is how i stitch it okay so this is a, this is a stitch this is a stitch try as much as possible to make it and uh, less visible okay so as you can see you can actually barely see this, this particular stitch okay so what i'm going to do next i'm going to set this aside and then i'm going to bring back my front piece for the shirt i already sewed off my darts okay so i already sewed off my side darts okay so this is the front piece remember we added three inch as our bottom stand this is the first one and half inch that we notched so you are going to mark another one and a half inch to make up the three inches. Okay, so this is it. Go ahead and also notch. Right. So come to the down part. This is the first notch we did on the pattern. So this is the second one and a half inch. Okay, so also notch. You are done what you are going to do so you go back to your ironing border so fold to your first one and a half inch okay so this is the first one and a half inch so fold to that one and a half inch so this is the second one and a half inch this is the notch okay so this is the notch so what i'm going to do i'm going to take this to that one and a half inch this is it so this is the inside and then this is the outside okay we are going to go ahead and then join this by 0 0.2 okay so just go ahead stitch by 0 0.2 like this okay straight to the top okay so do the same thing with the second piece so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so guys this is it after sewing okay so this is the this is the outside this is the inside okay so what we are going to do next, we are going to get this piece. I'm going to take this now. I'm going to place it here. And then I'll take the second one. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to mark half inch away from my armhole. Like this. Half inch away from my armhole. Okay, so I'm going to mark half inch away from my armhole. And then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the same thing. Mark half inch away from your armhole. I'm going to go ahead and then pin this down. 
don't pin it down what you're going to do you're going to place it together okay so place it together like this this actually to check if they are sitting well okay if it is equal so that if you need to make any adjustment you go ahead and make any adjustment okay so if it's not aligning together with the length okay so just go ahead and then make adjustment okay you're going to get a back piece and then what you're going to do now place it right side facing the right side right side facing the right side because we are going to be joining on the shoulder so place it also right side facing the right side okay guys so what you are going to do first you are going to go ahead and then join by the shoulder by half inch okay so join on the shoulder by half inch so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so this is the shoulder after joining by half inch so this is this okay so what you are going to do now already pin it at the side okay so i already pin it at the side okay so i did the same thing here i already pin it at the side so what you are going to do remember i added one inch as i saw in allowance okay so what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and then join by one inch like this and then join like this so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so guys this is it after joining okay so this is it after joining and then i went ahead to iron this out okay so i joined by the side by one inch okay so this is it okay so guys what you are going to do next you're going to turn it over to the back and then do the same thing turn it over to the back okay so like i said the back is going to have slits it's going to have slits so what you're going to do you're going to go ahead and then pin down you want your slits to stop my allowance included my slit is going to be roughly nine inch okay that is after taking out my allowance it will be nine inches okay so i'll go ahead and then stitch from this point and then stop here then i'll bring it back you okay, guys so this is it after joining okay so this is it okay so this is the back okay so just go ahead and then iron out so when ironing for the back you are going to go in by more than one inch so that you have that space so that the opening will be visible okay and as you can see what an iron inside added down here is actually more than one inch okay okay let me measure it okay this is even two, okay it's two inches okay so i iron in two inches at the down i did the same thing here this is actually to leave at this center space here so what we are going to do i'm going to take this off so we are going to style the sleeve now so guys we are going to style the sleeve now okay so to do that what we are going to do first we are going to go up by six inches just connect a straight line okay then go ahead cut out what you are going to do you are going to set this aside now so this is the down part we're going to label this as front okay this has work okay so do the same thing with here so you not be confused this is my front side of the sleeve and then this is the back side okay so label this part also like that front back so that you know where, where to place when we are cutting on our fabric okay so i'm going to set this aside so what i'll be doing is just randomly create a line it does not matter as much line you create okay so go ahead and create a line just create a line it doesn't matter the inches so this is it so i'm going to label this as one two three four five six seven okay so go ahead and then cut out so this is it so what you're going to do you're going to get your fabric so, so i place it on food okay it's about you want to cut two pieces as you go so this is roughly 25 inches okay so i have roughly 25 inches here on foot okay so like i said that's because i want to cut two pieces at a goal so what i'm going to do i'm going to bring my pattern now 
These are my patterns. So my pattern, I'm just going to distribute it around these inches that I have accordingly. Okay, so just go ahead, distribute it around. Okay. So whatever you are doing, make sure you are following. Remember how curvy your armhole is. So do where to follow it like that. Okay, so this is it. So I'm going to go ahead and then pin them. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to go ahead and then mark. Remember we have about six inches we cut that at this point. So I'm going to add half inch as my allowance. And then come over to this part. Okay, then connect it together. When you're done, go ahead, take your fabric scissors and then cut out. So this is it. So what I'm going to do, I will label my front. So this is my front. I'll come over here and then I'll label my front also. Okay. So this is it, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this paper now. So we are going to set it aside. So we are going to cut that to the other part. Okay, guys. So this is it. And this is the upper part. Like we label. So you are going to add half inch there. So when you're done, go ahead and then cut out. So this is it. It's two pieces here. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we are going to bring this back. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to make brown gutters here. We are going to mark this an half inch from this point. So just mark this an half inch. So I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to remember it's two pieces. So I'm going to mark this an half inch on this other part also. Okay guys, so this is it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate it. I'm going to use my needle to make gathers. So I'm going to mark one inch. Remember we are sewing by one inch. Okay, so mark your allowance. And I'll come over here. I'll come over here, I'll do the same thing. I'll mark my one inch allowance out. Then I'll go ahead and then cut us. This is it. Okay. So guys, so what we are going to do is to use the elastic. Don't make it tight. So just make it loose. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and then cut this out. Okay guys, so after cutting, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass this around here okay to the end okay so i'm going to go ahead and then sew this on my machine from here to this end so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back okay so this is it after running the elastic on it so the thread i still use in gathering this is still here okay so i'm here to cut it off because i'm not done so what you are going to do you are going to get this piece remember this is the front this is the up this is the back then this is the down So I'm going to take one from here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to pleat this into it. Okay, so just go ahead, make pleating. Either you pleat or you gather, anyone, whichever one. So go ahead and then do it. So when you're done, sew this on it like this. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll bring it back. Okay, so this is it after sewing. So I forgot to mention it earlier. We are going to add paper stay to this part okay not gun stay but paper stay okay so the lighter one so you are going to add paper stay here i already added this this is actually to give it strength so what you are going to do now you are going to turn it over like this and then we are going to join by one inch okay remember we added one inch as a swing allowance so go ahead and then join by one inch so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so guys so guys this is it after sewing okay so this is it okay so 
Okay, guys, so this is it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix this now on my shirt. So to do, just go ahead and then fix it on your armhole. So when you're done fixing it, then do the same thing with this part. So when you're done, what you're going to do, you're going to hem it down with hemming gum. You see that you hem with hemming gum or you, you just fold like this half inch half inch and then you stitch around remember we added one inch here so when you are done with that add your button when you're done with that add your button and then for this particular thing we have in front we're going to fix press button so the press button you are actually to decide where you are going to place it okay it's actually to hold it together with your shirt okay so guys i'm going to do exactly what i said fix this in fix this in, then add my press button between this design at the back okay and my shirt so for the color i have a shirt video on how to draft and sew color perfectly well okay so i'm going to drop the link on the description box instead of going all over that again so that is for those that don't know how to draft color okay if you don't know how to draft or sew color i'll drop the link on the description box on the shirt i made before so you go and watch how to draft and so color perfectly on that video so guys this is the end of this video thank you so much for watching so this is the end of this video so guys here comes the finished look if you recreate this please tag me on instagram at dress to fit by lilian so i can repost your pictures if you're here to follow me on instagram please do where to follow me and if you have any question feel free to ask see you on my next video thank you